Never give an asshole the benefit of the doubt. November 28, 2018 at 1228 AM, I posted a video called Joe Napoli Tropicana <gasps> Parking Lot Shell Nail Gun Blank Route 91, etc. I spent the first six minutes and 50 seconds replying to Lee Wall Lee Warrell garble bullshit because that's more entertaining. Then I got to the request that I look into the IntelliHub article, written article. And I quote it. So I'm going to quote it again because I left an archive to what I was reading because when I archive something I read it from the archive so I don't get it wrong. This article, if you weren't aware of it, was done November 12th, 2017 and is the earliest instance of Joe Napoli's Assertion. It's the earliest one I could find. If he has an, an, another one earlier, great. I have a bunch of questions. Never got an answer. Not going to get it in this video, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> and I stated factually at the 10 minute and 39 second mark, because that's when I ended the video pretty much, according to that article written 2017, November 12th, weeks later, the written page only, as it was the earliest instance of something I could easily archive. I can't easily archive some video where someone's talking, and I criticized Goodman for not being completely useful as a journalist. I called Jason Goodman a liar. I did not in the entire video. Up to that point, that's where the main body of it is. Call Joe Napoli a liar. Now I'd like to ask you fuckers out there a question. Why is it liars, presumed liars most of the time, but I don't actually say it out loud most of the time, always accuse me of saying something, specifically the thing I didn't do. Why? Because it's a way of fucking with people. And again, this is a YouTube channel that may not be Joe Napoli. He may be somebody trying to sandbag his ass, make him look bad. By the way, I'm using sandbag and not the golf player methodology. <coughs> anyway, after 6 minutes and 50 seconds of me entertainingly raking Lee Whalebarger, Whale Butter, Butterhorner over the frickin' coals. Here we go. I quoted the IntelliHub page only. November 12, 2017, IntelliHub post to give credence to multiple shooter meme. During a Jason Goodman live stream, Joe Napoli said, and this is what was in the text of the fucking page, from 11.30 to 11.40 p.m. in the southeast part of the Tropicana parking lot after he fled Route 91 concert shooting venue, saw about a dozen brass shell casings, or in actually brass tubings, I misquoted that and then corrected myself part way through, ran right over him and didn't know why anybody else didn't see them as he was running over them. <coughs> At the 8 minute and 13 second mark, I asked where they were exactly, anywhere but under paddock, because the assertion is, is that no matter what the story is, no one's going to cover it if you cover shells directly underneath the paddock or anything that confirms it. That's not news. News is saying that somebody from five miles away fired. Goodman. This is a critique of Goodman. I point out that this is a useless firing position. I did another video about that. I should have just done that in the first place. You can't shoot anything from there. There's nothing to stand on to shoot from. It's a bullshit position to be at. So it would have to be shells that were transported by somebody who could keep them in a brass catcher, but dump them out? Why? When they're in the brass catcher, you can take it with you. That's what they're fucking for. Anyway. Anyway, I said, people were running towards Tropicana, not away from it. They didn't see a shooter. If this happened during the shooting, a ground-level shooter firing into them would have taken some of them out. There would be this spray pattern of blood going back towards the venue. No casings or photos of them for any other witness corroborating this. He also didn't get any shell casings or photos, apparently, at that time. Again, I'm using the earliest instance. It was hours later, according to the posting. I didn't do the video because what's the point of watching a YouTube video? I'm just giving Jason Goodman a view. If he can't type up shit correctly, fine. But the assertion was it was X number of hours later. He's never recanted that. Jason Goodman. I criticized Goodman for not asking probing questions. Even though he's an anal retentive... Anyway... <clears throat> and that there were no other vids showing that spot having brass that I could find, and I asked if anybody could find them. Next part. Any other items could match this item, and I brought up a list of them, but uh, again, I'm going to read part of the title again. Uh, nail gun blanks, uh, 
uh, literally crack pipes, anything you can think of could match this. And I also brought up, I forgot to mention this, uh, a gold-covered uh, cigarette tube. They, they, they were sold that way. The, I used them for holding uh, sewing needles and stuff. They were really handy until they stopped being, but they're, they're for cigarette, cigarette singles. So anyway, <clears throat> and why did he not tell someone earlier then, and again the date was November 12, 2017, why is he waiting weeks and weeks later for something that would be evidence on the ground acknowledged by him, something freaking critically important? Why would you wait that long? And I didn't see any other instance of him mentioning this, and I couldn't find any. I even tried to find out where he was on Twitter and tried to double check with him, because when I do a video... If you're not aware of it, I will literally go through all the social media trying to find the SOB that puts up the story and get a confirmation from them. I want answers. Jason Goodman didn't ask them, but I couldn't find anybody. Isn't it amazing how these witnesses, they're blowing open the, the story and breaking the conditioning and, and ruining the mainstream media narrative are never available to answer a fucking question until weeks later. And then they get snippy at me for pointing out that this seems like hogwash. Not his hogwash, Goodman. Again, why did you specifically say that I called you a liar when the literal fact is, during the entire video section that contains this data, I didn't call you a liar. Maybe I did it in the summary. But we're talking about the big fat part from 6.50 to uh, 10 minutes of a 14 minute video or so. I didn't call you a fucking liar. Which now makes you a liar. All of your shit's been archived. You can't make it disappear. And I'm going to read your comments you made today because you're being a dickhead. Again, this is probably not really Joe Napoli. It's probably somebody trying to get me flagged for harassing him by impersonating him. But I don't know. When did you start your YouTube channel archived? If you click the archive to your link of your, of your video commentary below me, it'll link to an archived copy of your channel and people can traverse it easily. So, when exactly did you introduce yourself to the internet? Why aren't you corroborating and cross-linking? Where's your Facebook and Twitter page that every other fucker has on this planet for some reason? <sighs> anyway, I was mostly criticizing Goodman. Any other object can match what I was talking about. Didn't tell anybody earlier. Waited weeks for doing it. Uh, asking anybody in the area, Hey, I don't have my camera phone with me. Would you mind taking a picture of this? This might be evidence. Would you allow Lombardo to make such a claim exactly like this? And I want you guys to quote back what's in that article, not what's in the video. And, and, and put it in Lombardo's voice. Would you believe Lombardo? That's as close as I came to calling him... I wouldn't believe the story, but I don't know what he saw. I'm not calling him a liar. I literally didn't. Now, I'm going to repeat this. <clears throat> YouTube channel calling itself Joe Napoli went ahead and looked for a video I put up and lied about what I said. Yes, in Z formation. The fucked up part about this is, you now have to find a way to escalate this further. So let's see what happens today. I didn't claim you lied. I said, would you trust Lombardo if he did this kind of thing? I'd want evidence. I don't think Lombardo's a liar. He's a politician. I kind of have to actually say he's a liar by definition. But still, I can't call him a liar. I can only say that he's not corroborating things or whatever. Meh. And uh, most of this was about Jason Goodman doing a shit job being a, a journalist. Does he ever ask any probing questions? Ouch. That's an E.T. joke. So let's get on with it. Labtech, I've kindly asked you where in this or any video you hear me say I saw shell casings at that point. You ignored the entire video. Your claim is I called you a liar in a specific video. So you said, you read I said that. You said in several of your videos that I said I saw them at such and such. I'm reading the article. Make them update it. It's Jason Goodman. He'll actually update it if you tell him. He interviewed you. You can sue him for not updating it because essentially he's uh, defaming you. All right? I never specified a time in the video. No, but his interview with you, he said that you did. I was reading from the article because I can't archive the fucking video. I'm old school on print data. What is printed if you didn't defy it? If you didn't tell him it was wrong or demand that he take it down or post someplace on like on the internet to say that this was wrong, you haven't contradicted it. And again, you waited for weeks and weeks before you actually t told anybody about this even happening. Teeny dog. So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> 
Um, I never specified a time in that video. You specified it later, okay? But you made it during the shooting, okay? That's fine. Then how the hell were you looking at the ground, being able to count the number of shells and determine the length and get a good guess at it? And why didn't you come back the next day and see if there was some sign of them there? Did you do a follow-up? Why did you wait weeks to tell anybody? I mean, you might have had to just leave town to go do something. If you're not looking for a specific time, ask me. Or if you're looking for... It was about 10.20 to 10.25. Okay, does that help? I was deep into the basement of specific blah, blah, blah. Next. This is your video here. You accuse me of lying. I'm looking at the video you specified. I didn't fucking accuse you of lying. You're not allowed to post anymore until you make a video on your channel showing your face to prove you who you are. Admitting I didn't call you a liar. That's the end of the video. You're done. You have literally come to my channel and said something, the only thing you could find on my channel, on that video, that is literally not true. That is a tactic. I want you to prove who you are by putting up a video of your face with the time and date stamp and a current paper. I want you to literally do a proof of life video. And I want you to change your channel to where it links to all of your social media so that we can tell that it's really you. My opinion, you're not in any way, shape, or form to be trusted as being ever the person you claim to be. You're not Jonah Pulley until you prove it. You said, I'm the 91-year-old man who shows his face. I'm the 91-year-old-looking man that shows his face. With all due respect, I show no respect to you. This is all archived. You've showed up to this to make Joe Napoli look like an irrational little stooge. I've never said Joe Napoli lied. I said I didn't have a reason to believe the information because it wasn't corroborated. For the same reason that nobody should believe anything I say that I, that I am, that I can't corroborate it. I even brought up the instance where I mentioned I could be a cobbler or a bicycle mechanic or a computer repair person. Unless I corroborate it, I can't prove it. But then again, it doesn't really matter. It's not really important. But this is important. You're claiming you saw something that's desperately important, but you apparently did jack shit to make sure we could find out about it. And now we have uh, somebody pointed out there's another video pointing out the same thing. Okay, it's a person recorded with the literally the worst audio quality I've seen. I'm not fixing it. I can't even hear what's in it. But even that person said that they... Uh, somebody posted below the video, I don't know if this is true, that the person in that video actually picked up some of the shell casings and then doesn't have them anymore. If Joe Lombardo gave you that story, would you believe him? No, all things equal. If um, Joe Napoli does this video, doesn't mention the time and date stamp, the only person lying about the time and date stamp, at the time anyway, is Jason Goodman, or he swears up and down he got it from him. Okay. A couple of people have posted under my video saying that, you, that the Joe Napoli person literally did say in a recording a specific time and date stamp and said that it was actually after 10-something. But I don't know. I'm not going to look into it. Because you're not until you confirm it, Joe Napoli. I'm publicly stating that I have never called Joe Napoli a liar, but I'm calling the YouTube channel naming itself that a fucking liar. It's a YouTube channel. It's not a person. It's like me saying that Microsoft Corporation is a lying sack of shit that should be exterminated and destroyed and burned to the ground. It's not a living entity. It's a fucking company. You can kill it. You can, you can exsanguinate it by draining all of its bank accounts and distribute it to the poor if you want to. It's a fucking company. Companies do not have human rights. They're not humans. No, they don't have a right to free speech either. Oh, I forgot. Some conservative and liberal people wanted some more money and wanted it protected, so they made money free speech X number of years ago. I guess we can't threaten Microsoft Corporation. You're a YouTube channel until you prove otherwise, and you have to do it to the satisfaction of anybody who's a skeptic, which is pretty damn difficult, but you can do it. Uh, my claim is that, until otherwise noted, the Joe Lipoli channel is not allowed to be talked about on this channel. This is the ending video set for it. Number one. Number two, this person has to prove that they are actually in control of it and have more than one contact point, not just the YouTube channel. And the last part of this is, I never called this person a liar, ever. Stop lying about what I say.